monk celebrated Mass each morning at 6.20 a.m., a daunting time of the day for a night owl like me. But a spiritual appointment my Irish Catholic mother had strongly recommended I keep during a troubled time in our family life. My parents had just divorced. My mother was worried about the impact on me, and she had started visiting the monastery, hoping I might develop a friendship with the good monks. So, although it was still dark outside, I forced myself out of bed early on that day when Mom beckoned. I fell back asleep during the 45-minute drive to the Abbey. I woke up again as our car stopped in the small parking lot near the monastery building, surrounded by the monk's farm, both nestled in the middle of rolling hills and imposing mountains. We attended Mass together, sitting in the back of the church. As a young male, I was allowed to gather with the monks around the altar at the front of their chapel for part of the liturgical service. It was an honor, but an intimidating one. I was the only non-monk there, and I also stood out for my lack of height, two rather unappealing circumstances for a self-conscious preteen. Because I thought that monking was a rather serious business, I also did not know if the Trappists really wanted a little kid on the altar with them. My worst fears seemed confirmed. An old monk I barely knew by name glanced down and scowled as I stepped up to stand around the altar beside him. Time seemed frozen. I agonized about whether to slip away quietly and return to the back of the church where children like me belonged. Just a few minutes later, and before I could retreat, the presiding priest announced the moment of the Mass called the Sign of Peace. The old monk turned and shuffled over, his scowl replaced by a broad smile. He gave me a gentle hug. Looking directly into my eyes, he said, Peace be with you. As he did, the sun rose over his shoulder and bright red, blue, gold, and green streams burst forth from the chapel's large stained glass window. The light mesmerized me. The colors seemed to dance around and embrace us. It was the dawn of my monastery mornings.